Hi Capricorn, this is your weekly tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. It is a Capricorn sun, moon, and rising reading because it's a Capricorn energy reading. So I suggest that you check out your sun, your moon, and your rising sign because it, it's energies that's going to be impacting you right now anyway, so you might as well know, right? Um, there's always an extended reading. That link is right below this video, and I do hope you'll join me for that message after this video. Um, if you really love this video, please like it and share it on your social media platforms. Also, subscribe to the channel and help the channel grow. Ring that bell so that you select all notifications so you know when I upload your favorite content. Capricorn content comes out every single Wednesday between 9 a.m. and 8 a.m. 8 a.m. and 9 a.m. Pacific time. That's around noon lunchtime over on the East Coast and dinner time 5, 6 p.m over in Europe. Um, let's get into the reading. If you want to join me for live readings, Capricorn, please join me over on Instagram. I do daily tarot card readings at born underscore without underscore boundaries. And then I post those daily tarots to my second channel, which is called Astrology Motivation. I hope you'll check that out too. All right. Hmm, interesting twists. This is going to be a general general energy, but um, by the end of the reading, I will break the energy down into uh, career, love, and money. Forgiveness heals. Time to release repressed anger as it's blocking your health and happiness. Deep emotional healing. Your heart is ready to heal from past experiences, and you are willing to devote time and energy toward therapeutic care. That is really interesting. So, you know, Capricorn, you have a wonderful way of getting real. And this week is really about getting real. It's about all of those things that have been planted underneath now sprouting up. It's like the roots have spread out and now it can start to poke up. The vulnerability is showing. The sadness is showing. The anger and frustration. And it's, it's so much more detrimental if it leaks out. Right. If you can control how it pours out, then you can ensure that this will be a healthy growth. But the unhealthy process is if it starts to leak out. And I have a feeling that stuff has started to leak out in bitterness, in frustration, in anger. This is upset. This is pain. This is hurt. This could be the, the uh, projection of perceived failure or perceived judgment onto a situation, circumstance or person. <clears throat> simply because all of these underlying energies have not been purged or dealt with. So this is when we actually get real. It's very introspective work. It's very, it's very much a time of like, um, well, being exposed for your whole self, including the ugly sides of ourselves that we try to hide. And insecurities are going to be pushing your buttons like crazy right now, especially when the moon moves into Cancer, which it just did. The moon moves into Cancer, and you know that's in the opposite energy from Capricorn. And it, it can make things feel really shifty and really frustrating, and, and communication feel really frustrating because... It's not talking on a pragmatic level, it's talking on an emotional level. And ultimately, that's like, to have a conversation, somebody's having a conversation in pragmatism, and the other person's having a conversation in emotion, and you don't even, you're not really even having the same conversation. But the truth is, you're trying to get something across to each other. So what's going to be coming out is these outbursts of emotion, of outbursts of feeling and frustration. This is the time to be strong and be brave enough to feel what you need to feel. Like, like I guess, let yourself be imperfect out loud. And I know that comes as a real hardship for you because obviously, obviously, um, you have high standards, right? Especially for yourself and how you portray yourself in, in public. Um, it's not about being fake. It's about really feeling like you've designed your, like, really feeling like what's been being seen is exactly what you've designed, which you feel is the ultimate expression of who you are, right? What you can build, which is Capricornian energy. But ultimately, um, this is a more intimate look at those things that lie beneath the surface that are not controlled. The cracks in the design and then the anger that 
um, ensues from the cracks in the design and who we blame it on and and who who we um, you know who we blame it on or or and how we react to those imperfections being seen that's what this week is about so this is a deep emotional healing time when we can actually be in almost a safe space of seeing those imperfections um, yeah so that they don't burn yeah there's some sort of heartbreak here real major disappointment that's the three of swords so something's really bugging you and I think it's that you feel stuck and like a failure because the major arcana here is the hanged man it's like okay how much time is it going to take for me to actually grow when do I actually get to prosper? When do I actually get to, why am I stuck here? Simply just standing on the sidelines looking. That's really frustrating. Something has stalled, come to a halt. Really kind of, it's, it's like, it's like there, is no, there is no progress. It's not that anything is bad, but you feel like a sitting duck. And you don't like that feeling because you don't like the feeling of just sitting and waiting. You like you're a doer, right? You're a cardinal sign. And then we have the Ten of Swords, which is really just about to throw something completely away or feeling like something is in total ruination because there, because, because, because it is. With the Ten of Swords on the table, um, there is a sense of something is over, something is ended, something is, has been completed, like the pain isn't going to get any worse. That could be kind of the good news of the Ten of Swords, the pain isn't going to get any worse. Um, but ultimately it seems to be hanging around, and that's what I don't like. So this hanged man is a situation of stagnation. Hmm. What are they waiting on? Here and now. Why is here and now in the past? Here and now is coming up in the past. Maybe that's the frustration. Ultimately frustration within ourselves. Because it's like you, you, you were at a point in your life where you were really happy, where you were really flying high, where you really had high hopes and even, dare I say it, expectations because you were living in the moment and it felt so good. But you fell back into the old patterns of comparison and expectation and projection and there's a sense of, well, how could I lose my way again? How could I be end up back here when I was doing so much better? And the ultimate answer is complacency, feeling like the here and now didn't have to continue to be worked on, right? That's kind of what it is. It's like, it's so enjoyable. It's like a vacation, but ultimately we get sloppy on vacation. So that's what happened. And now it seems like we're just stuck. We're not living in the moment. We're stuck in the moment. What is there? Is there a stuck opportunity here? It seems that there is. It seems that there is a stalled opportunity like, um, um, like a, um, a raise, right? A, a, what do you call it? A promotion that was supposed to happen and won't happen. A wedding proposal that was supposed to happen and didn't happen. It's like where where the, but that that's the that's the sadness is the expectation the expectation is what's leading to life being shitty because life isn't actually shitty keeping it inside and avoiding your disappointments is what's actually churning you and separating your internal world and what it's taking to make you happy and your external world and really being happy. Okay. Capricorn. Capricorn. Give me some details, please. You tried to get something off the ground, something new. Or you were learning there was education. There was some sort of schooling, which you really enjoyed. It's like schooling was the future, but it was also structure. It was a structure that you could depend on, right? And that helped inspire your mind, okay? 
And then we have, there's complications that came up. Different sorts of obligations and responsibilities. Oh, I have to work too. Different kinds of costs, different kinds of schedule shifts. All of those things could be complications that came up. And then we also have Scorpio energy, which is an ending to begin another beginning. These blocks are your fears. They're not real blocks. They are real blocks. You came across unexpected discomforts, Capricorn. And in some ways, you're letting it shut you down. Um, but I'm here to tell you that these discomforts are actually just a bunch of bullshit. You can overcome these. They're actually, five of wands is pretty easy stuff to overcome. Um, but it, you, the interpretation of, but then that, that means it just must not be meant to be. That's where the expectation is starting to ruin the reality because that's not true. Your reality is becoming, your reality is growing, you know, to compare the tiny sprout to the oak tree isn't really fair because it just hasn't had time yet. So ultimately it's a sense of maybe putting too much weight onto this tiny little sprout couldn't handle it, right? Couldn't handle it. You have the oak tree, you're looking at everybody else, like you're looking at the oak tree, everybody else has this, everybody else is here. You have to still get there. So this is the middle of getting there. So nothing is actually going wrong. These are just practical, like, like particulars along the way that are frustrating you. But because there's a compromised sense of self in this energy it's it's more than it's more than it appears to be it, it's appearing to be more than it actually is you could also be in a situation where you feel other people keep getting in the way of your being able to enjoy yourself and ultimately or of your pleasure and ultimately, that's putting you in a very angry, very vengeful mood. Um, and the anger is coming out, maybe even on people that you know, don't deserve the anger. Maybe they just deserve to be told, not today. I have other things to do today. I want to do something else. So what's going on? I'm going to get deeper into this. Capricorn. foundation and achievements this is happy home this is happy home being a reality okay happy family life i understand the deconstruction of the capricornian mind when things are peaceful and even though we all aim for peace there's no challenge in peace Three, three, three. There's no challenge in peace. So where do we find the next challenge? But you know where to find the next challenge. You know where it is. You just don't want to do it. There's too much fear. There's too much fear and there's lots of red tape. And there's lots of unpredictables. The Knight of Pentacles is here. There has become new opportunities, especially new opportunities to make money, but definitely just new opportunities. This is about wrangling your fears. Courage is the, you, all, you can only be courageous in the face of fear, right? So you have to get scared. This could be the feeling, Capricorn, of why does everything have to be so fucking hard for me? And ultimately, do you know what I'm going to tell you? You're born a Capricorn. That's your lot in life. You're going to look for things to be hard for you. You'll make them difficult if they've become easy. Because you don't feel like you've earned something. 
unless it's difficult. And so in some ways, you don't even recognize that you're sabotaging a really great thing by finding ways to make this really good thing really difficult where the difficulties aren't. There are difficult, it's almost like you're, you're creating difficulties where it's easy and you don't realize you're destroying something that really should be supported and upheld. Meanwhile, there are challenges on the outside that you're avoiding because you're really scared of them. And this is the week that you realize it. And shame is gonna tempt you to continue to on the same destructive path. Your strength is going to guide you toward admitting what you've been doing, realizing it. Realizing it and getting to work on what's really frustrating you and scaring you. You know both these answers. Ooh. Let's break this energy down into how it's affecting your career. How is it affecting your career? Career. You don't know which direction to go. You have the momentum, but you don't really, really have the direction. There is somebody, perhaps a king of cups, who is trying to guide you, but it's not effective communication. Um, this is more a watch. Somebody's watching you? No. This is you needing more direction, but not getting the direction. You're not getting the direction. That's all I keep picking up in career. Everything's prepared, everything's ready, but where is the direction? Somebody is speaking to you almost in code. You don't understand what the fuck they're saying. It's not helpful. You wanna get going but they're not being overt about what it is you really need. You don't feel like what you need to get this career moving forward is clearly defined. And that's where the frustration is coming from, especially at them. Because they just tell you these little things, little, little tidbits of instruction or direction, but like why? You wanna know the why. You wanna know the wherefore. You wanna know the story behind so you understand the situation completely. But that's, they're like, like, hold, like holding on to that information. They're like, they're like a person of few words. Or when you look or search for information, it's not a person, but you keep getting these tidbits of information instead of the whole chunk of information that you need. And it's frustrating you because it's blocking you from moving forward. Let's see what money is going on. Money. Money. Money for Capricorn, money for Capricorn. What's up with money for Capricorn? What's up with money for Capricorn? What's up with money for Capricorn? You're trying to grow it. You're trying to expand. You're trying to see who wants the things that you have. You're trying to build out your network. You may even be getting some sort of financial advice from a friend and there's opportunities to make money through personal communications or a friend is going to set you up with this opportunity to make money. What is this? It's, it's networking. What is this for money in Capricorn? You might be sending out proposals using your network to try to bring money in. So this is something to do with good times, something to do with happiness, something to do with bringing people together, networking, bringing people together. I don't know if that's your business, but it could be a potential to uh, make money. And then queen of chalices, which is just being open hearted and celebrating. There's somebody who's really good to people in terms of money. And then we have the six of chalices, something that you're very familiar with. I feel like there's 
there's just this sense of money is coming to you through a familiar conduit. Money is coming to you, th you know, in, through something that you feel really comfortable with. You have a lot of friends in. You can network out. It's like, it's like you need you, your your need for money had to be filled by the closest means possible, and that was just by slipping into doing something you were comfortable doing. It's not going to be unhappy. It just doesn't seem like there's a lot of money here. Love. Love. Ah, this is the this is the potential here with money still. A sense of you used to really enjoy this and now it seems it feels like a burden, like a straw that broke the camel's back. Like this is the last time you want to go back to this. It seems like there is a need for money here. But it's coming to you through friendships. But you don't want it to ruin those friendships. The level of need to call, to put too much pressure on being around these people you enjoy. Let's go into love. Let's see a little bit of love. Let's see a little bit of love for Capricorn. What's going on with love? It seems to have stagnated. The Seven of Pentacles is here. It's like in terms of something, your love light, yeah. Um, and you don't really know what's going on. You need more information because something has stagnated, but you don't know why it's stagnated. You don't know why things aren't growing or like, yeah, aren't, aren't developing. Let's, that's probably a better word. You don't understand why things aren't developing. There's information that's missing here. Um, and maybe somebody's not reaching back out to you or telling you what's going on. Um, there's a queen of swords here, but she's in reverse. She's really nasty in reverse. This is mean, angry energy. This is tense energy. This is accusational, uh, harsh words, um, harsh words, harsh words. What do they have to do? That's, that's not so loving. Let's put it that way. Somebody who is just really bitter and unhappy. Oh, but she's not saying why. So I don't know if this is you or somebody you're dealing with, but the the anxiety is building because there's this frustration of not moving forward. Um, and she like somebody isn't communicating that. And it's lack of communication that's actually making the situation worse. The, what, let's go over to Tarot for solutions. Um, the link is below. I hope you'll join me for the extended message. We're going to dig deeper into these issues and uh, find the solutions. And um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you follow me over to the extended and I will see you guys. Bye.